Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you in Microsoft Excel how to use the most popular function in Excel because even though it's really easy to use, I see a lot of people using it incorrectly and that function is the sum function. So I'm going to already get into the detail and then I'll show you also a simple way to do this. So if I want to add up all these numbers, I have an east region and also have a west region with cities listed below them. A lot of people will come over into F5 and up in the ribbon under editing is sum. So I summed up that number then I auto fill it down. Uh, that works if you notice your borders get mixed up and there's ways to fix that. The correct way to do this or the fastest way to do this is I'm going to highlight the east region and notice I stopped in row 9 but I didn't get column F yet. I'm going to hold down the control key. The control key allows you to select non-adjacent cells. So I've got two regions selected. By the way, if I had 12 regions or 14, it doesn't matter. I could use the control key and get them. I'm going to do Alt equal, which is auto sum. That keyboard trick is even displayed when you point at auto sum. So there are the sums for quarter one through four for those eight cities or those two regions. Then the next step I'm going to do, so I have basically somewhat subtotals, not official subtotals, but subtotals in row 9 and row 15. So now I highlighted cell B5 to F17 and another alt equal or auto sum. I knew over in column F, I'm in F5, that it would sum up B5 through E5. What's cool is what it did down in cell B17. It summed up B15. Notice there's a comma and then B9. Because if it would have summed up all the numbers, it would have been twice what it needed to be. So there you go with that one. Here's one more easy example about it. I'm going to open up a new worksheet. And the reason, this, the reason I made this video is I saw someone doing this. They were adding up two groups of numbers. So let's just make this real simple. 7, 6, 3, and 2. I'm going to auto sum them. Then the second group of numbers, I'm going to just make it 1, 2, 3. And then when they did an auto sum, they told me that they were expecting it or wanted it to get the number 18 because notice it didn't pick up that first sum. And I said, no, you don't want it to get that. You want to put this one in and then go auto sum again. So that's why I ended up making this video. You can see it's working. By the way, if I had one more group of numbers, here we go again. It is still working. So that is the most popular function in Excel. There's over 450 functions. Make sure you know how to use the sum function correctly. Thank you for your time. This was a short video. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day.